Rano Tieno here and welcome to our eighth tutorial on the CI series. In this video, we're going to create our users table. So uh, why don't we just uh, access our, our PHP MyAdmin at this local host slash PHP MyAdmin. You have to provide your login credentials and then focus on the database tab and then the uh, you can choose the database that we just created that's the training or whatever you renamed your database to and then hit the sql tab up here so here's where you're going to write all your scripts and commands then if you're done you just hit go meanwhile i just switch to my uh my sql workbench and for the guys who already um for the guys who already installed my sql workbench you can go ahead and follow along with me uh in the previous video also i used uh, my sql uh, client and you can access the, the same through uh, my sql console located under uh, uh, my sql folder then my my sql console okay so you guys can use whatever you are comfortable with so um I'll go ahead and bring back the script that I started writing in the pre previous lesson. So I'll just uh, say um, create dat database if not ex exists. So I want to check if uh, the training database exists. Um, if it, it exists, I'll just uh, the, just ignore this query otherwise we'll create the database okay so create a uh, database if not exist training okay and then we're going to use training what the heck i can't even write my training wow maybe i need some training on writing training okay so create database if not exist training so we are going to change to the database training so use training and then we're going to create we're going to create a um, table let's do create table and then table name but let, let, let's just check first if the table is existing or not if exist um, if not exist actually if if not exist and then the table name let's give it uh, users and then we're going to open parenthesis and provide all the all the fields right in there okay so um i want to maybe start by dropping the database uh training itself so you can say drop database training because we already have it here but um if you guys look at this one keenly drop database training and then creative not exist nearly the same same thing unless if you change your script in here and you want to you want to effect it effect everything if you change uh something within your queries then you can just go ahead and drop the database but i don't think it's necessary to have this when you have if not exist training so i'll just go ahead and comment this one out I just wrote this to show you guys how to comment stuff on uh, on SQL script. So um, you go ahead and hit the uh, the hash symbol, and it's already commented out. Or alternatively, you can strike your uh, hyphen twice and then give it give it a space. So it's already commented out. So let me go ahead and provide you guys with uh, the the fields that we're going to use here. And the first field is going to be our users id so users so you users id somewhere here our user id is going to be uh an integer value of length 11 and let let's make this uh field auto increase so not null we don't want it can never be null and then auto increment okay and then the second field that i'm going to use here is um, 
f first name so f name i'll go ahead and give it uh, a data type of variable character and of uh, end of uh, length 30 unless you you're coming from those countries where they have extremely longer names then you can go, then you can go ahead and give it something more reasonable to accommodate your messed up names so, um I'll include middle name and the middle name here is also going to be a var variable character of length 30 but we don't want we don't want our first name to contain null so let's do not null I, I can allow nulls in middle name but not in the last name okay so we have a uh, last name variable character of length 30 as well and then we can again check on our username and password okay so let's do username variable character of um length a username 20 can can just do let's uh add our employee number but i want to skip this employee number thing no let me just include it employee number let me just do an emp number and give it uh, a variable character of length um 20 and then i'm going to add a password after the username so we can do password mm, password is going to be a variable character of length of length uh let's do 128 the reason why i'm choosing on 128 is because uh we can end up using some complicated hashing algorithm that will just consume a lot of space okay but 128 is just sufficient uh our pa the password is complaining here so i'll just uh, do a tick here Ooh, so i think that one will sort it out but let me just go ahead and leave it the way it is if it gives us an error then in command make the damn text right there so we have empty number the next field uh is an email because we want to at a point reset our username and password and i will show you guys how to so let's do uh email and email is going to be a variable character of um length let me give it a 40 yeah 40 let me just give it a 30 my email address is not uh, that long so why would yours be that complicated okay so um i have an email what else what else do i need here maybe a phone number but is it really necessary let's do a phone number just in case uh somebody wants to call you from your workplace they don't have to go back uh and call at home or any or ask your number from any of your relatives so let's pre provide a phone number really yeah phone number let's give it a variable character again of length 20 then um you can add date created here no, not now. We'll do that one later. What I can do here is just the location. We have the location field here. Suppose uh, you want your application to run in different offices. Maybe one office in, is in Kisumu, then the next office is in New York. You can include location when whenever you're creating your employee so that you can track them by, or you can query your database by location. So you can add location variable character of length um let's let's give it a 30 that's sufficient enough to carry complicated locations like banana republic or whatever 
Okay, so I can add a uh, supervisor. Let's just assume you have a supervisor somewhere. So let's do supervisor variable character of length um, 30. So this feels nullable. Mm, employee number. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just go ahead and leave everything the way it is. But let me just say username not null. Not null. Okay. And then uh, password not null as well. employee number not null just want to make our database at least look like a database email address yeah we need email address here an email address is required when you're going to register our user so let's do not null here as well so um after this i'll just go ahead and add my uh primary key let me do primary key here is going to be my uh, user id user's id okay exactly okay so i'm i'm going to use uh to add an uh I'm going to add a unique index, a unique key here, and it's going to be my email address. I'll go ahead and do uh, unique, unique index, no, unique key. Here is going to be my um, let me just do uni unique key email email address is going to take on my email address field okay and then um, another unique key username it's going to take on my username username field it's going to take on my username field What else do I have here? Username, employee number. Okay, let's add an, a unique key for that. So we're going to have a unique key. Mm, of employee number. And it's going to take on the field imp number. Good. This is now so sweet. So um, I think at this point I'm done with this. So what what I'm going to do next is just to um, specify my engine here, which is going to be uh, let me do engine. My engine is going to be InnoDB. I'm choosing on InnoDB because it supports transactions, transactions triggers, and, and several other things. Um, there are other database engines like uh, my um, we talk of things like you know there are several other engines out there you can just go ahead and check uh, the kind of database engine that MySQL supports okay so I've defined my uh, engine to InnoDB and I'm going to define my default default um, default chart set my default chart set here is going to be latin one okay latin one and finally my uh, i can do a comment here let me do a comment my and the comment here is going to be this table contains users information Let's update 
update our our table if need be so i'll just go ahead and run this script to create um to create our our, our users table so um hit control enter and that alone has created our table so everything's running and working out well so that uh i can let me just provide a, another script here let me let me try to query my table select some select all records from me from users yes so uh, our table our, our table is already here with uh, the first column being our user's ID, first name, middle name, last name, username, password, employee number, email address, phone number, location, supervisor. So um, the first thing that you're going to do after creating, the first thing that we're going to do after creating our, our user's table is to create a form that will register a user because one thing here that you guys have to not is we're going to use a bcrypt as our encryption but you can't you can't provide uh, a hash password by just typing so we need to require some form that will have uh, that will register our users but by then we'll have to um we we'll have to pass our our password field through uh, through bcrypt en uh, encryption i already, I already chosen bcrypt to be our our encryption okay so the next uh, in the next video I'll show you guys how to um, create a form that will insert uh, our our user that will register our users that means that we have to um, make uh, uh, make the form work submit to our controller uh, pass the data to our our model and then insert into the, to the database but as we pass in our data, we have to pass it over our hashing. That is our bcrypt uh, hashing algorithm. Okay, so why didn't we meet in our next lesson? Bye for now. Please subscribe. Keep on visiting our videos. I'll be updating them uh, frequently. Uh, maybe other upcoming tutorials. I still have several uh, several other. Uh, programming languages to to work on so you, you guys keep on coming back and learning more okay so subscribe and see you in the next video